কথা শুনলাম এখন বুঝতেছি না কি করব এক রাতের মধ্যে ম্যাম কার্ড কিভাবে কমপ্লিট করে কিভাবে দিব ম্যাম এক রাতের ভিতরে বলতে কিছু কোশ্চেন তোমাদেরকে দেওয়া হয়েছে নিশ্চয়ই আমি বলেছি আইটেম ধরো দুইটা আইটেম নিয়ে জেনারেল জিআইটি হ্যাঁ দুইটা আইটেম না যে জিআইটি তে মুভমেন্ট আর রিফ্লেক্স ঠিক তো ওই দুইটা আইটেমের উপরে 15 20টা কোশ্চেন তোমাদেরকে দিয়ে দিতে বলেছি যেগুলি থেকে ভাইবা আমরা জিজ্ঞেস করি কোশ্চেন দেওয়া আছে লেকচারারদের কাছে আমার কোশ্চেনের সাজেশন আছে ওখান থেকে তোমরা ওই 15 20টা কোশ্চেন তোমরা পড়বে এইটা দিয়ে পরীক্ষা কোশ্চেন আগে থেকে তোমাদেরকে দিয়ে দিতে হবে দেন ওই কোশ্চেনটার উপরে পড়ে আসলে তোমাদের পরীক্ষা হবে একদম সহজ তোমরা এটাকে একদম কঠিন ভাবে নিবা না যে কি না কি দশ থেকে পনেরোটা কোশ্চেন থাকবে এই দশ পনেরোটা কোশ্চেন তোমরা এক রাতে অবশ্যই পড়া কঠিন কিছু হবে না ঠিক আছে ভয় পাবা না কোশ্চেন ম্যাডামদের কাছে দেওয়া আছে বলবা যে হ্যাঁ বলো ম্যাম রিটেন ভাইবা দুইটা এর উপরেই হবে রিটেনটা না এখন আমরা ভাইবা নিচ্ছি ঠিক আছে আমরা পরীক্ষা গুলি কিন্তু ভাইবা হিসেবে নিচ্ছি আর রিটেনের সাজেশন আলাদা করে আমি সিস্টেম ওয়াইজ তোমাদেরকে পরে পড়াবো এখন ওটা নিয়ে তোমাদের টেনশনের প্রয়োজন নাই সিস্টেমেটিক্যালি আমি নয়টা সিস্টেমই কিন্তু সাজেশন অনুযায়ী পড়াবো ঠিক আছে ওটা হচ্ছে পরে এখন তোমরা আইটেম গুলি কমপ্লিট করো কার্ড ফাইনাল হিসেবে কিভাবে ভাইবা মনে থাকবে ভাইবার জন্য ম্যাডামরা কোয়েশ্চেন দিয়ে দিবেন ওই কোয়েশ্চেন গুলি পরে পরে তোমরা ভাইবা एग्जाम দিবে পারবে না निरालेशन रेस्पिरेटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटरिटर
bodies and lungs. They have efferents from the pons, hypothalamus, and limbing. Efferents means always remember that sensory, sensory. Efferent means always sensory. Efferents from proprioceptors. Proprioceptors means the receptors which are pres present in muscle, joint, and tendon. Okay, these are called proprioceptors. The receptors which are present in the muscle, joint, and tendon. These receptors are called proprioceptor. And another name of proprioceptors is kinesthetic receptors. Okay, this is viva question. What do you mean by proprioceptors, or what do you mean by kinesthetic receptors? You can you have to tell like this. Proprioceptors means the receptors which are present in the muscle, joint, and tendon. Okay, another name of proprioceptors are called kinesthetic receptors. And efferent that is sensory from baroreceptors, arterial, atrial, ventricular, and pulmonary. This is very important table for MCQ exam. Uh, you have to study this slide very nicely. Okay. Now, this is carotid body. I will discuss this thing. Now, first you have to understand chemical mechanism. Then you will understand baroreceptor, chemoreceptor, everything. See here, chemical mechanism or chemical regulation. How? See here, chemical mechanism of regulation of respiration is operated through the chemoreceptors. That is chemical regulation of respiration of operated through chemoreceptors. So what do you mean by chemoreceptors? This is popular, very popular viva question. What do you mean by chemoreceptor? By chemoreceptor, chemical regulation of respiration occurs. So what do you mean by chemoreceptors? Chemoreceptors are the sensory nerve endings which give response to change in chemical constituents of blood. That is chemoreceptors are the sensory nerve endings which give response to change in chemical constituents of blood. That is chemical constituents of blood means partial pressure of carbon dioxide, partial pressure of oxygen and increased hydrogen ion concentration, increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide, decreased partial pressure of oxygen. These are the chemicals of the blood which can stimulate respiratory center. So chemoreceptors are the sensory nerve endings. Changes in chemical constituents of blood which can stimulate chemoreceptors. This is very popular viva question. Which chemicals can change the which can I mean, which chemicals can stimulate the chemoreceptors and can stimulate which can ultimately stimulate respiratory centers? How many chemicals present in the blood that can stimulate respiratory center? There are three chemicals. There are three chemicals that is decreased partial pressure of oxygen. Decreased partial pressure of oxygen means hypoxia. Increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide means hypercapnia. This is medical term. You have to know this terminology. Decreased partial pressure of oxygen. This is one of the chemical. Um, this is called uh, hypoxia. Increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide. This is called hypercapnia. And increased hydrogen ion concentration means decreased pH. These are the three chemicals present in our blood, uh, changes of these chemicals can stimulate respiratory center. That is always you have to remember here, decreased partial pressure of oxygen, increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide, and increased hydrogen and concentration. These three chemicals can stimulate respiratory center. Now, types of chemoreceptors. How many chemoreceptors present in our body? And that is uh, the chemoreceptors can control the chemical that causes the chemical regulation of the respiratory center. So types of chemoreceptor, you must have to know this question. Types of chemoreceptor. Chemoreceptors are classified into two groups, central chemoreceptor and peripheral chemoreceptor. That is central chemoreceptor, which located centrally, that is medulla oblongata, mainly all center, always remember that all center situated mainly medulla oblongata and also in pons and peripheral chemoreceptors, where the location only 38 student i'm seeing here only 38 student oh no no student like message piney i'm a class need check on roll one tangible roll one kia to a machete tangible yeah tell a canoe at the com student canoe at types of camo receptors here Eta I make into next class a poradorbo camo receptor camo receptor guli koi dhoroner 
two types chemoreceptors present in our body central chemoreceptors and peripheral chemoreceptors what do you mean by central chemoreceptors what do you mean by central chemoreceptors central chemoreceptors are situated in deeper part of medulla oblongata close to the dorsal respiratory group of neurons always remember that central chemoreceptors located centrally that is in the deeper part of the medulla oblongata main mainly monar agbe sokol center kuli kintu beshirbhag kothay obosthito medulla oblongata te tai na tale central chemoreceptors are situated in the deeper part of medulla oblongata close to the dorsal respiratory group of neuron this area is known as chemosensitive area and the neurons are called chemoreceptors chemoreceptors are in close contact with blood and cerebrospinal fluid ei chemoreceptor guli close contact e thake blood ebong cerebrospinal fluid tale central chemoreceptor guli kothay thake central e thake that is medulla oblongata ebong ei this area is highly sensitive to changes in their blood partial pressure of carbon dioxide or hydrogen ion concentration and excite the or stimulate the respiratory center always remember that hydrogen ion is the primary stimulus for respiratory center this is very common mcq question kon ion ta sobcheite beshi role tomar respiratory center ke stimulate kore hydrogen ion it is the primary stimulus hydrogen ion may be the only direct stimulus for those neuron and hydrogen ion do not easily cross the blood brain barrier mone rakhbe there is a semi permeable membrane that is a barrier present in the blood and cerebrospinal fluid ei dui tar majkhane ekta barrier thake allah taala ekta blood brain barrier diye diyechen kothay ei blood ebong cerebrospinal fluid er majhe thik ache dekha jay je amra jodi electron micrograph diye amra check kori central nervous system ke tahole dekhbo je there is a shows that there is a barrier present between the blood and cerebrospinal fluid and this barrier that is formed by ki ki diye toiri hoy the endothelial cells in the wall of the blood capillary lumen e dekha jay je blood er je capillary lumen thake ei tight endothelial junction diye toiri hobe endothelial basement membrane diye toiri hobe ebong food process of astrocyte e tin ta jinish diye blood brain barrier ta toiri hoy acha tar modhe dekha jay je electrolyte cannot easily pass through this blood brain barrier allah taala ei blood brain barrier keno diye diyechen diyechen je ढुकते blood brain barrier very easily carbon dioxide has little direct effect but potent indirect effect dekha jay je carbon dioxide guli dekha jay je blood brain barrier ke cross korar por they become uh, hydrated with the water and form carbonic acid this carbonic acid dissociate into hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ion this this hydrogen ion that can stimulate the respiratory center that is carbon dioxide cannot directly can stimulate respiratory center carbon dioxide kintu directly kokhono stimulate korte pare na she ektu indirectly kaaj kore but ki potent effect ache tar karon ki blood brain barrier ke easily kono electrolyte hydrogen ion cross korte pare na dekha jay je carbon dioxide can easily can cross the blood brain barrier then water er sathe milito hoy they can form um, hydrated with water and form carbonic acid this carbonic acid then dissociated into hydrogen ion and bicarbonate then this hydrogen ion Uh, it can stimulate easily respiratory center so hydrogen ion is called the primary stimulus for um, uh, respiratory center this figure you have to draw from uh, figure 42 hyphen 2 this from figure from your textbook guidance so for chemical regulation of respiration you have to draw this figure this is blood brain barrier see here this is blood brain barrier there is a 
very are semi permeable membrane present between brain and uh, cerebrospinal fluid see here this is the blood capillary lumen tight junction there is tight junction in the capillary endothelium of the blood capillary lumen this is the food process of astrocyte and this is the uh, basement membrane this is basement membrane see here again this figure very nice this is basement membrane this is the tight capillary endothelium this is the this is blood capillary blood okay this is the blood capillary lumen tight endothelial capillary endothelial junction and a endothelial basement membrane and there is food process of astrocyte these three things form blood brain barrier so uh, any substance cannot easily that is large macromolecule any infection virus bacteria cannot easily enter through the blood brain barrier and electro electrolyte that is um, uh, cation anion cannot easily penetrate through this blood brain barrier but carbon dioxide gases can easily penetrate to, through the blood brain barrier and lipid soluble substances can easily passes through the blood brain barrier glucose urea they can pass through the blood brain barrier but uh, lesser extent that is com com porimane though glucose is the main fuel for the brain glucose kintu enter kore but not so much easily easily je korte parbe tana it need transporter transporter er madhye kore thik ache acha this is also figure of blood brain barrier now see here blood brain barrier this is a semi permeable membrane between the blood and cerebrospinal fluid already i mentioned that three things create this blood brain barrier that is one thing is uh, tight junction tight endothelial junction of the capillary uh, lumen of the blood capillary and then uh, endothelial basement membrane and uh, number three food process of astrocyte these three things create blood brain barrier see here easily this blood brain barrier can cross breathing gases that is gas can easily cross the blood brain barrier glucose they can also uh, you know that glucose is the only fuel for uh, brain so glucose can uh, cross the blood brain barrier amino acid they can cross the blood brain barrier and mood change of drug they can also uh, cross the blood brain barrier but highly charged material highly charged material that is electrolyte cannot easily cross the blood brain barrier heavy molecule that is larger molecule cannot cross the blood brain barrier and lipid soluble not lipid soluble material cannot cross the blood brain barrier but lipid soluble substance can easily cross the blood brain barrier okay same thing same thing blood brain barrier you have to know this blood brain barrier see separator between blood and cerebrospinal fluid there is semi permeable membrane present see blood brain barrier there is semi permeable membrane present between blood and cerebrospinal fluid so uh, substances uh, all substances cannot enter easily through the blood brain barrier and there are three layers of the blood brain barrier first thing i have mentioned you that uh, capillary endothelial tight junction of the capillary endothelial cell capillary basement membrane and food process of astrocyte they form blood brain barrier okay now already i have mentioned you that central central chemoreceptors central chemoreceptors are located in the deeper part of the medulla of longata okay a deeper part of the medulla of longata uh, there, there is central chemoreceptors present now you have to know about the peripheral chemoreceptors so what do you mean by peripheral chemoreceptors peripheral chemoreceptors located in the carotid and aortic bodies this is popular viva question please students listen to me very carefully here that peripheral chemoreceptors are is the location of peripheral chemoreceptors peripheral chemoreceptors are located in the carotid and aortic body you have you must have to tell these things peripheral chemoreceptors are located in the carotid and aortic body now you have to know where the location of carotid and aortic body see here carotid body bifurcation of the external and internal carotid artery see here there is bifurcation of the bifurcation of the external and internal carotid artery here location in between this carotid body is located here in between bifurcation of the external and internal carotid artery this is very favorite and popular viva question please tell me the location of carotid and aortic body carotid body located bifurcation between external and internal carotid artery and aortic body located where in the aortic arch see here arch of aorta this is arch of aorta and here aortic bodies are located here see here carotid body in bifurcation between external and internal carotid artery and aortic body located in the arch of aorta okay this is the location 
Okay, this is also figure from your textbook, figure 42 hyphen 4 from your textbook guidance. Okay, peripheral chemoreceptors receive enormous blood supply that is 2000 ml per 100 gram tissue per minute. And so oxygen needs of the cells can be met largely by dissolved oxygen alone. So, peripheral chemoreceptors receive kore enormous blood supply. That is, they are rich in blood supply. So, if you have oxygen deficiency develop, kore, will be stimulated. So, peripheral chemoreceptors are located in the aortic body and carotid body. So, you can see that it is rich in blood supply. So, you can see that the oxygen demand is fulfilled by dissolved oxygen. So, you can see that it is highly sensitive to oxygen. देखा जाए जो भी कोनो कारण है तुम्हारे पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन को में जाए बॉडी ते शायद शायद पेरिफेरल का मोरिसेप्टर्स विल बी स्टिमुलेटेड दैट टाइम ठीक है चाहे तो ले देयरफॉर ए रिड्यूस्ड पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन स्टिमुलेट पेरिफेरल का मोरिसेप्टर तो ले पेरिफेरल का मोरिसेप्टर गुली के a hypoxic condition is that the receptor is stimulated by the peripheral chemoreceptor. Peripheral chemoreceptors also respond to increases in hydrogen ion concentration and partial pressure of carbon dioxide concentration. So, let's see what this is. I have mentioned that the central chemoreceptor is in the deeper part of the medulla of the lung. And the peripheral chemoreceptor is in the peripheral chemoreceptor. We have said that the location is in the aortic and carotid body. So, the central chemoreceptor is stimulated by OLAS. Stimulated by central chemoreceptor. We have said that the chemical control of breathing is in the central chemoreceptor. Look, this is the central chemoreceptor. Stimulated होच्छ की दिए mainly होच्छ जे partial pressure of carbon dioxide and hydrogen ion concentration दिए central chemoreceptor गुली stimulated होच्छ ठीक है जे central chemoreceptor रे किंतु आम्रा कोखुनो ही की कून कथा टा बोल बोना partial pressure of oxygen रे कथा टा central chemoreceptor रे आज बेना ठीक है जे central chemoreceptors are not stimulated by partial pressure of oxygen decrease partial pressure of oxygen decrease partial pressure of oxygen mainly stimulated by peripheral जोखुनी पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन बॉडी तेरी ड्यूस थबे कौन कैमोरिसेप्टर गुली स्टिमुलेटेड थबे पेरिफेरल मेनली पेरिफेरल कैमोरिसेप्टर स्टिमुलेटेड बाय रिड्यूस्ड पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन बट सेंट्रल कैमोरिसेप्टर सर स्टिमुलेटेड बाय रिड्यूस्ड इंक्रीज्ड पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड इंक्रीज हाइड्रोजन आयन कंसेंट्रेशन तले देखो ख्याल करो ये डिफरेंस टा जे सेंट्रल कैमो रिसेप्टर्स को था लोकेशन डिपर पार्ट ऑफ द मेडियोला एवं ये टा मेनली की दी स्टिमुलेटेड है बॉडी ते जो दी पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड बेरे जाए और तो वह पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आयन कंसेंट्रेशन जो दी बेरे जाए ये दिस टू सिचुएशन कैन स्टिमुलेट सेंट्रल कैमोरिसेप्टर्स बट पेरिफेरल कैमोरिसेप्टर्स किन किन तो मेनली स्टिमुलेटेड हो बे की दिए पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन दिए ठीक है चे also, peripheral chemoreceptor is stimulated, but it has a minimum effect. Increased hydrogen ion concentration and increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide can also stimulate peripheral chemoreceptors. It has a minimum effect. The main effect is that peripheral chemoreceptors are stimulated by decreased partial pressure of oxygen, that is hypoxia. Hypoxia can stimulate peripheral chemoreceptors mainly, but increased hydrogen ion concentration, increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide can stimulate peripheral chemoreceptors, but these effects are very minimum. So mainly peripheral chemoreceptors will be stimulated by decreased partial pressure of oxygen. And central chemoreceptors will be stimulated by mainly increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide and increased hydrogen ion concentration. This is the central chemoreceptor to stimulate by not by the reduced partial pressure of oxygen. This difference is the difference between what is the differences between central and peripheral chemoreceptors receptor. The stimulation of the peripheral chemoreceptors occurs as much as five times as rapidly as central chemoreceptor. Mone rakta habe, central chemoreceptor at chai to paaj gun beshi kaach korbe kunta peripheral chemoreceptors. That is, hypoxia can stimulate peripheral chemoreceptors as much five times as rapidly than central chemoreceptors. You have to remember this for MCQ purpose. Tale dekho, for written exam. For written exam, 
exam chemical control if the question may come come in a written exam uh, describe the chemical control of breathing you have to write down from here describe chemical regulation of breathing you have to write down from here start from here that increase partial pressure of carbon dioxide increase hydrogen ion concentration decrease partial pressure of oxygen these three chemicals can stimulate respiration both partial both uh, carbon dioxide and hydrogen and act on medullary that is central chemoreceptors that is uh, increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide and increased hydrogen and concentration already i have mentioned you that two things increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide and increased hydrogen and concentration they stimulate central chemoreceptors that located in the deeper part of the medulla oblongata and on peripheral chemoreceptors located in the carotid and aortic body but oxygen act only on the peripheral chemoreceptors that is oxygen partial pressure of oxygen decreased partial pressure of oxygen on only act on the peripheral chemoreceptor they cannot act on the uh, central chemoreceptor but uh, central chemoreceptors can be stimulated by um, uh, stimulate central chemoreceptor stimulated by increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide and increased hydrogen ion concentration but partial pressure of oxygen mainly reduced partial pressure of oxygen act mainly on the peripheral chemoreceptor okay but there is minimum role of partial pressure of carbon dioxide and hydrogen ion concentration on peripheral peripheral chemoreceptor minimum minimum rule but mainly uh, partial pressure reduced partial pressure of oxygen is uh, stimulated which which uh, chemoreceptor center is stimulated by reduced partial pressure of oxygen peripheral chemoreceptors okay this is the basic differences you have to draw this figure for chemical regulation uh, figure from your textbook 42 hyphen 2 you have to uh, draw this figure okay and flow chart you have to give this flow chart for chemical regulation see here on central chemoreceptor two things partial pressure of carbon dioxide and partial pressure of hydrogen ion concentration that is decrease ph they can uh, cross the that is uh, carbon dioxide can easily cross the blood brain barrier and blood csa barrier um, uh, but hydrogen ion cannot easily cross the blood brain barrier but gas that is carbon dioxide can easily enter through the blood cross the blood brain barrier and blood csa barrier in that is increase carbon dioxide into the brain they uh, hydrated with the water and form hydrocarbonic acid and they dissociate hydrogen ion and bicarbonate these hydrogen ion can stimulate central chemoreceptors in the medulla oblongata by hydrogen ion okay then respiratory center stimulation occurs increased ventilation more carbon dioxide excel and arterial pressure partial pressure of carbon dioxide and ph return to the normal level this is the how central chemoreceptors act central chemoreceptors always stimulated by up increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide increased hydrogen ion concentration that is decreased ph always remember this thing but peripheral chemoreceptor stimulated mainly by the decreased partial pressure of oxygen that is hypoxic condition also minimum effect of increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide and increased hydrogen ion concentration minimum effect but mainly it is stimulated by the reduced partial pressure of oxygen this is the major differences now peripheral chemoreceptor stimulation occurs and always peripheral chemoreceptors located in the carotid body and aortic body already i mentioned you carotid body always mono act of a carotid body always stimulated by which nerve glossopharyngeal nerve that is cg and aortic body is stimulated by the vagus nerve and ultimately this glossopharyngeal cg and ab always remember this thing cg carotid body is stimulated by the glossopharyngeal nerve and aortic body is stimulated by the vagus nerve and ultimately this nerve causes stimulation of the respiratory center and increase ventilation and arterial partial pressure of carbon dioxide and ph return to the normal this is a flow chart of the chemical regulation okay that's all from me today thank you everybody thank you very much